So we've talked about the guided missile technique, uh, the guided mesenchymal stem cell layering technique that, that we use here at our center. Uh, and I, I want to um, uh, now discuss uh, some of the key things that you need to look for uh, if you're considering getting a stem cell or PRP procedure performed. The so seven key things to, to really make sure that uh, the place that you're going to has are number one, um, is the person who is dealing with your arthritis problem or tendon problem or, or ligament problem an expert? Are they an arthritis and tendon expert, a ligament expert, somebody who really knows their, their stuff? Number two, are they board certified in their specialty? Number three, it's really important to, to know that this procedure, this very complex, complex and complicated procedure, should be done using local anesthesia only. That's the safest approach. Um, I, there are several places that use general anesthesia, and quite frankly, uh, the biggest risk that comes with these types of procedures, with any kind of uh, invasive procedure, is the anesthesia. You know, going into anesthesia and coming out of anesthesia. So if, if something can be done using local anesthetic uh, successfully, uh, that's a real plus. Uh, number four, uh, the harvesting of the stem cells and PRP uh, should be done in one step. So the stem cells, the PRP, uh, even the matrix, uh, the, the, uh, the fat, uh, that uh, is used as a framework uh, should be harvested in one step, one day, one one morning or one afternoon. Uh, you shouldn't have to make uh, you know re return visits and things of that nature. It's not necessary. Um, the next step, number five, uh, the best method for ensuring proper delivery uh, and exact delivery of the stem cells or PRP. Um, and the matrix uh, is by use of uh, diagnostic ultrasound. Again, I've mentioned uh, previously that if you use uh, things such as uh, x-ray, you're, you're dealing with harmful radiation. Uh, you also aren't getting a real-time look at the, the area that needs to be treated. So diagnostic ultrasound ha is, is uh, superior in, in that respect. Uh, whoever is doing the procedure should have published uh, it's really important that they be recognized as an expert in, in their area and have published data uh, showing uh, their area uh, of expertise and, and um, letting you know that they know their stuff. You know, that's, uh, that's really important. And finally, uh, and probably most important, the staff, the staff should be responsive to your questions, uh, concerns, needs, and be able to explain things to you. So those are the seven key things to look for. I hope uh, this video has been uh, uh, of interest. Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to contact us. Uh, this is Dr. Nathan Way.